Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. It's making a great one. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To try to change them to fit what you want is like trying to change a dog into a cat, a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 364. You get the NASDAQ off 275, S&P's off 55. Gold contract up $34, trading 1970 an ounce. You got silver up 60 cents, $25.81 an ounce. Light sweet crude up seven dollars thirty nine cents at one fifteen ten. Notes and bonds, the ten year note up thirty one ticks one twenty eight fifteen. Remember, there's thirty two ticks and a and a uh, full point. Uh, thirty year up a full two points plus seventeen ticks at one fifty nine ten. And king dollar, king dollar's up eight hundred and twenty seven ticks trading ninety eight six thirteen. The euro is at one hundred nine. The yen is at 114. The British pound is at 132 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we take a look at the SPY. What you're going to see inside the SPY, you're down $5.40. You have volume of $84 million, which is light volume. Uh, that being said, you're at 430 right now. We've hit 427. The, high, the highs of the lows are 428.76. Uh, what I expect, let's go take a look at the futures here. U.S. H. We're down 53. Take a look at this E-mini. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so... The high of today didn't have volume. What did have volume, though, is at 220. That might get tested. 43.21. Huh? That's kind of that's 16 points higher than we are right now. Well, this is the, this is the bar that's going to make a difference. Where we're at? Well, let me see this one second. So we're 310. Oh, okay. A new bar starts right now. Okay. Well, this this bar is going to tell us, folks, because what you have is this. So you can see the highs of, of today, no volume. So it, my take is that that's not where you're going, okay? What you do have is that you have this bar at 20 past two that has some juice into it. I mean, that we did 31,000 contracts there, and then we came back down with 26, and we just did 24. So most times when you see that, that would mean that first you're going to basically go up and test that level up here at that uh, 3221, and right, 4321. Now let's go take a look at the NDX 100. So we take a look at the three Qs. What you have with the three Qs is this. Three Qs are down 62 million shares. Now the Qs are gonna open, are they, they're already inside the lows of the highs. So the Qs to me, well, uh, uh, the market in general, to me, is going to gap down next week. That's how this thing is setting up right now. The Qs don't look to me like they're going to catch a bid at all. If we go to the end Qs and we take a look at this, you'll see that the low of today is 13,733. Right now we're at 792. Okay, so this, whoops. We take a look at these futures. Yeah, this one's lower price. Okay, so this, this, there's a differential here, too, between the E-minis and, and the NQs. And what it is is this. You can see the bar that, you know, we were talking about at uh, 20 past 2. This has this bar, and it has some volume in it. But what the difference is, that bar there had 11,000 contracts inside the NQs. Then we came down with 10,500. Yeah, that's telling me these NQs are going to go for the lows and probably break out these lows as we come into the close. And if that's what we get, bottom line, S&Ps are going to go in the same place. Gold. Gold contract is on the run in a monster way. What we have out here, you got gold trading up $35. You get 217,000 contracts. There's plenty of contract volume. 
So you're broken topside. You have volume behind the move. If we take this and we put this on a con on a continuous contract, what you're going to see out here that's pretty screaming is this, okay? Because now you take this on a weekly, and what you're going to see is that the all-time high is 2063. Well, guess what? We just launched, I mean, the way this is set up, 216, oh, no, 1916, 17, that's 180. That's 1916, 2016, 2116. Yeah, this is going to be an ABC structure up. So when, you, when you're taking a look at this gold contract, folks, I suspect, number one, you're going to go right for this uh, 2063, and, excuse me, and more than likely, you are not going to stop. This is going to be an ABC structure on the way up. The B to C has, I mean, the C to D has already started, and uh, we'll see how this baby shakes out. That's what it's looking like, though. Silver, we're going to take a look at the silver contract. Come on, baby. Um, S... Okay, we go take a look at the silver contract. Silver right now is up 61 cents. We have 62,000 contracts. So silver just launched. Okay, cool. Okay, so silver, 25.50. 20, oh, this is nice. That's four bucks. That's 30 bucks. Silver wants to go to 30 bucks, which totally makes sense. We pull this up. We take a look at silver. And right now, I'll put this on our generic contract because I, I think it's either 29 or 30. That is the next uh, swing point in silver. And yeah, it is. It's 3050. So it's 3050. And this also can be an ABC structure up. And if it is, it's a monster too. It would be uh, 1170. Yeah, the 29. So, uh, man, you're talking. Uh, it's, 31. Man, yeah, we're, we're talking, we're talking almost 40 bucks. Stay right there. Come right back, folks.